Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Naswida Nachirembeka is a new mother. She is one of the beneficiaries of the Babies and Mothers Alive Emergency Aid Project in Chotera and Rakai districts. On the day of delivery, Nachirembeka was found to have a cord prolapse and could not be helped at Rwanda Health Center 3. The emergency system came in handy. The midwife dialed a border border rider registered in the system and she was taken to a waiting team at Rakai Hospital. From Rwanda Health Centre 3 to Rakai Hospital is about 10 kilometers. So actually, as you said, that the mother was able to reach at the hospital within 15 minutes. I conducted an emergency cesarean section and I was able to salvage the mom and the baby. We kept her for about three days, giving her medications. She improved and we discharged both of them in a good general condition. The system, according to Elena Nachintu, the director of programs at Brick by Brick, operates as a referral system with well-coordinated health workers, transporters and patients. The process of recruitment has actually been very rigorous. It's, it's taken over one year. We start from the health facilities themselves. They tell us that no, the border border riders whom they usually use in their referrals, who, are, who they have contacts and are always available. And then we go to the border border stages. When we went to the border border stages, we talked to the chairpersons. So they gave us names of those people who are reliable. And then we went to the sub-county. We submitted over 1,300 names to the sub-counties to each particular sub-county. So the sub-county chiefs, together with the LCs, sat. And that was also a process which took over a month. Nachintu says the selected candidates for the job are taken through some first aid skills because they will be handling pregnant mothers. To train them on uh, uh, obstetric triage so they know which mother to transport on a border border and which mother not to transport. So for instance, they know a particular complication. If she comes and tells you, I'm going to this particular health facility, he knows, the border rider knows that, no, I may not reach, it's better I take you here, even if you took your antenatal from here. So they know we, how to transport them. And we also uh, took them through some drills on just in case a birth is happening along the way, what should they do? And for that reason, more than 2,000 mothers have been able to give birth safely at different health facilities. 7,791 mothers registered on the Mama Rescue platform. We've had 2,210 mothers who have been transported in just three and a half months. On the emergency dispatch, we have had 241 mothers who have been transported number of deliveries on the uh, first component of border for mothers those are the ones delivering at the lower health facilities we've had 2210 deliveries in three and a half months dr edward Moanga, the district health officer in chotera says they have been able to reduce maternal and newborn mortality by huge margins with support from brick by brick the minister of health target antenatal one is 80 percent but as a district we performed 97 percent our ant antenatal antenatal four as a district we perform the 65 percent and the ministry of health target is 60. deliveries in health facilities ministry of health target is 60 but we were able to perform at 69 in one of our health facilities kakoto health center four it can even spend a year without any maternal death being registered in that facility. Our cesarean section rate stands at 19%. However, he says they are now limited by infrastructure. As a district, we are lacking the X-ray. Kalis's hospital does not have an X-ray. We also have another health center, 3 Kirumba, that has a very small maternity. It is only accommodating one mother. We as a district also lack the drug store where we store these essential drugs once they are delivered from NMA. Commissioner Curative Services, Dr. Charles Solaro, says they are learning lessons that will be key while operationalizing the national referral system. This ties us into our national health referral, national, national emergency medical policy. 
which has been approved by Parliament. So we were, we are ready to go, and uh, I think as a country we, we already procured ambulances which were distributed. And our plan is to have, for the beginning, to have one type B ambulance for very 100, very 100,000 population, and a type C for 2 million, 2 million people. The project is largely supported by funding from Belgium via Enable. You're all aware of the agenda 2030 of the United Nations and the Sustainable Development Goals. And there is Sustainable Development Goal 3 on health. And both Uganda and Belgium have committed to this, Uganda, uh, to this agenda. But it's important to realize that this can only be implemented through a multi-stakeholder partnership. None of us can implement this agenda alone. This week is globally recognized as the Safe Motherhood Week, which is meant to raise awareness about making pregnancy and childbirth safe for all women and newborns. Uganda has recorded improvements in the reduction of maternal deaths from nearly 500 to 336 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <music>